everyone, Mori Fox here, and we have the new October Witch Casket to unbox today. This is super exciting because I just had my birthday in October um, on the 14th, so this is kind of like a birthday edition for me. <laughs> I know that's silly, but I'm looking forward to seeing what theme this October box will be because it's my favourite month as well. So, ooh, how exciting! Right, so let's just open up the box, see what we've got this month. Oh my god. Okay. First we have the prints. And the first print I see is this beauty. Oh my god. Just look at how beautiful this is. So you've got a moon, some clouds, this really cool broomstick. And look at this pumpkin, this oozing green pumpkin. And there's a little potion bottle and a little bag, maybe a little bag of herbs. And again by Tea Cake Art. The art is always amazing. Oh my god, this is so cool. <laughs> I just love how everything is kind of black and white apart from like these two things as well. I just love art like that. I just think it is amazing. Oh, it's so nice. I love it. And then there's another print. We've got a hand and a skull. Kind of reminds me of the skull that's on the poison apple in uh, Snow White. But that is so nice looks really cool and I like you've got a little moon tattoo down there I love this kind of black and white wash in the background and who is this by by someone different so yeah and then they've got all their links there if you want to go check them out oh man off to a good start guys like seriously oh my god okay what are we gonna get next oh just another sticker oh uh, maybe they're just including stickers every time now but that's fine I'll just spread the round and give people a witch casket. Or if you wanted to, you could even just cut that part and just have witch if you don't want the casket part. But you know, why would you not? They're a good company. But yeah, that's just another idea. Maybe I'll do that with this one because I've already got the sticker. But it's always a nice sticker. Good quality, nice and glossy. Okay, what's next? So next we have this spell bag. Empowerment Elixir Kit. And it says includes everything you need to create your own magical, empowering potion slash elixir. Ooh, let's have a little sneak peek inside, shall we? Okay. Ooh, something smells very spicy in here. So let's have a look. So in this you have meadow sweet baz oh, meadow sweet, basil, pomegranate peel, water and a full moon. That's what you need. They all smell really nice. So yeah, you've just got this little kit, all this bit, and then it tells you how to make the elixir, which is interesting. Especially, you know, if you need a little bit more confidence. I could have could have used this the other day when I went to a wedding. <laughs> I'm so not used to socialising anymore. So yeah, awesome. A little empowerment. Okay, what have we got next? We've got this little crystal kit and it says empowerment crystal set. So let's see what crystals we've got on the inside and then I'll read the back of the card. Let's have a look. Oh man, look at this. Look at these beauties. So this is what was inside of the bag. Lovely velvety bag, may I may, um, might I may add. Might I may add? Is that even English? I don't know. Uh, right, so let's just have a look at the card. Multi-banded Argate, which is for protection, insomnia, bad dreams and grounding. And then you've got Silver Leaf Jasper, which is for balance, grounding, stability, stability and willpower. Leopard Skin Jasper, change, forgiveness, insecurity, anger management. Green, adventure terrain, success, good fortune, prosperity and independence. And then we've got Tiger's Eye for confidence, charisma, power and integrity. So this is Tiger's Eye, I know that much. I have to Google these to make sure. But I know this probably is the Leopard Skin Jasper because of it's very spotty. This is obviously the green adventure terrain. I'm guessing this is the Silver Jasper because obviously it's like kind of like a silvery colour. Which means this one must be the the multi-banded Jasper. Oh no, sorry, the multi-banded Argay this one must be. Because of all the different things. But I could be wrong, I'll have to look afterwards. I'm not saying I know everything about crystals because I surely do not. I just really do love them. So yeah, how lucky. I wonder if we still get a separate crystal or if this will be like the crystal crystals, crystals of the month. I don't know. But, oh, what a treat. Okay, what have we got next? We have been truly blessed. Trudy blessed. Okay. Ooh, a 
And then next we have this, which is Pentacle Auto Tile. So I love all these little velvet bags because they're so useful because you can obviously like reuse them for a lot of stuff and re-gift them. And they're just really nice. Ooh, and they feel such good quality as well. Let's have a look. Oh wow, that's so beautiful. So it, it feels like a slate. And as you can see, it's got the pentacle in the middle and this lovely pattern, which kind of reminds me of like Greek, Greek or something like that. Um, and then yeah, it's got like a little velvet pad to stop it from slipping around. This would look so nice on your altar or even just somewhere in your house, even if you propped it up, you know, so it faced you. It's just so beautiful. And then yeah, it's just on the back of here, it's just got another picture of a pentacle. That is so nice. I love stuff that is practical, stuff that you can use for every day. Like that, that is so, so good to me. Oh God, I love these boxes. <laughs> They're always so good. Right, next we have, oh, is this the tea? Oh, look at this lovely orange, beautiful orange. Okay, so next we have pumpkin spice tea. But this one says it has black tea and apple, orange, rose hip pieces, hibiscus, calendula, sunflower petals, cinnamon and natural flavourings. So it, I guess pumpkin spice is what you put in with pumpkin when you bake and it's not actually the taste of pumpkin. I've never actually had pumpkin itself even though pumpkins are like my favourite thing ever. Anyway, I should really try this to see what it's like. I don't know if you meant to have it with milk or anything. Please let me know how do you drink pumpkin spice tea? <laughs> okay, next we have the pin. And this is the pin of the month, and it just says resting witch face. A little witch's hat in the corner. Um, but yeah, I've seen this on like t-shirts and stuff like that. It's like a common phrase at the moment, because obviously it's meant to be a different <laughs> phrase, but resting witch face, that's pretty, pretty sassy. I'll definitely put that on my pin board. It's plain and simple. I just like the cute little witch's hat. I like this uh, black and white design. It reminds me of like Beetlejuice or like... um Nightmare Before Christmas, kind of like that too. That's what it reminds me of, all the like the curls and stuff. That's really pretty. Okay, what have we got next? Oh, they've given us a bottle. How bizarre. Okay. Oh, look, frog's breath. Now this, this has got to be Nightmare Before Christmas themed. Yeah, it's a glass bottle and it says frog's breath on it. I'm guessing you could probably use it for oil or a spell. Um, it's just like a cool glass bottle, it just, <clears throat> just kind of reminds me of like an oil bottle that you can get but I mean you could probably even use it for a water bottle if you wanted. Um, what I would probably do is try and see if I can find a cork to go in the end and just reuse it like that. So, but who knows, I will see. You could probably just use it for a potion bottle. I'll read it at the end because there might actually be a reason we have this. Obviously not for real frog's breath, <laughs> poor little froggies. But, that's really interesting. I'll, I'm interested to read if there's any suggestions of what to use it for. So next we just have a little bar of chocolate and it says trick or treat vegan Belgian chocolate. Because um, if you didn't know, the witch casket are always vegan and they always do vegan stuff. So that is really great for like a vegan like me. So this is really exciting that they've got a chocolate bar in there and I can eat it. <laughs> Hooray. But yeah, lovely little chocolate bar and it's got the pentagram, the little swirls the spider webs and it's just like a little bar of chocolate that's so kind thank you witch casket <laughs> not often that we get um treats for halloween so thank you very much oh next we have some more spell candles i'm so grateful when they send these because they actually fit so perfectly in my little candle holders that i have and these are just black ones and i just love this pattern on the front they are always so useful i like how small they are so yeah i really really love these little spell candles because i don't have any apart from the ones which from the witch casket. So yeah, that is the next thing and I really appreciate them because they are so useful. Um, and then we have a keyring, and then we've got a little kitty on the keyring with a black and white checkered pattern on the back. Oh, and it says Hocus Pocus. How cute, this is so adorable. I love the crazy looking cat. Look at his lovely orange eyes. He's very like Tim Burton-esque, isn't he? The little kitty, so pretty. I'll definitely put this on my keys. It's so cute. Oh, so cute. I love it. So adorable. Next, we have this in the box. And I don't really know. Oh, I see. It's like a little box. Oh, it's actually got magnets. Okay, so next we have this wooden box. And it came in two pieces. And I was like, what? What? What is this? But 
it actually has a magnet to stick it together. So I'm not sure if it's for story incense or maybe matches or I'm going to have, have to look at the card in a moment and then we can see what it's for. But yeah, it's this beautiful wooden box that snaps together. It's hollow on the inside and it has this, and it has this beautiful swirly pattern. It looks so, so pretty. Ooh, so nice. So yeah, we'll read what this is afterwards, see what it is. Very pretty though. Okay, last two things. Um, we have got the incense, as always. I love the packaging. It's a beautiful black packaging with orange writing. Who doesn't love black and orange together? Can you get more spoopier than that? I don't think so. <laughs> and then, yeah, it's just got a cute little wizard's hat because this is wizard spell. Incense sticks. Stamford. Let me just give it a whiff. I think they smell nice. I can't really smell them very strong, but they smell what I can smell. Smells pleasant. So yeah, some more incense. I'm gonna have so I'm gonna incense for all my life with these boxes. <laughs> it's great. So yeah, lovely incense. And then the last thing we have is the scroll. And this month we have a little orange scroll. So yeah, this month we've got a little orange stamp on it. As always, I'll try and open it without tearing it. <laughs> which is really hard. It is just witty tips. Little tips of what you can do. Oh, that's interesting. It's saying when you stir food or brews that you can stir it clockwise to attract things and anti-clockwise to banish things. Stir any unused magic tools by wrapping them in black cloth. So yeah, it's just got loads of different tips. That's really interesting. Yeah, lovely. Let's have a quick read. Um, let me have a quick read and let's find out about this. And about the bottle again to see what they were shall we okay so it just says potion bowl so i was right just for a potion bowl like i said you can either use it as a water bowl as well if you don't want to use a plastic bottle maybe you can use it for a water bottle if it doesn't leak obviously like i said you could always put a cork on the end maybe and stop it from doing that oh okay it just says it's a black wooden altar box so i guess you can just put little whatever you want in there, Crys little crystals, uh, maybe a little parchment of a spell, um, or like I said, maybe a little incense, because you can buy the mini incense. Whatever it is, it's beautiful, and I'm going to find somewhere very nice to put that. Right then, so that is everything in this month's box. I love the orange, <laughs> and I love the black theme. Lots of awesome stuff again like seriously they they do love to treat us every month i do feel a very blessed and i love this box i think it's amazing and i do honestly look forward to unboxing it for you guys every month and i just love i love it i love this box i love unboxing it it's always so nice and they always send so many nice things again as always i will put the link for their website in the comment down below if you're interested um, if not, just keep watching me unbox it, that's fine. And yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone. I really, really hope you take care of yourself. I hope you have a great Halloween and I hope you're enjoying the autumn weather. It's finally getting cold, so hooray. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.